I'm pushing a button. We'll see what happens. It says I'm All right. live. Let's see if I'm actually live. We're blaming the tech guy. It says, I'm seeing waiting. Oh, and we're live and muted. Excellent. I can see everything. Okay. Awesome. Hello, people. Hi. It's Art Wolf. This is Pat. I am Pat, otherwise known as Navarone Gun. You all know Art Wolf's voice, and um, we're going to entertain you guys doing. with comedy today. All so, right. so I think we are now golden we'll see how uh, how badly we bumble through this so for posterity's sake we both have fooled with this a bit um but neither of us have played it extensively so our goal here today with this two-turn operation brevity scenario is to um learn how to play bcs and become you know not competent but at least uh, to get us a good enough start that we can continue to play BCS in a meaningful way. So, let's talk about the scenario. So, yeah, brevity is a pretty straightforward, you know, Wavell in, in May um, wanted to seize Hellfire Pass and, and, and the Fort Capuzzo area in preparation for a later offensive, mm -hmm. you know. That's and like right in here. Yeah, and it's, uh, and here we go, it's, it's a two-turn scenario. Um... You know, there's going to be 88s and uh, and stuff. You're going to have jock columns rolling it. You know, uh, basically combined arms. You know, truck, 25 pounders. I, I believe might be 18 pounders. You know, rolling in after me, and I'll have to react to that and try to like counterattack you. Okay, that's that's brevity. So actual victory conditions are: this is uh, Hellfire Pass right here, apparently. Um, yes. And we have to control the Commonwealth. Has to, I'm playing the Commonwealth. Pat is playing the Germans and the Italians. Um, we have to control this hex, Hellfire Pass, and one of these other highlighted hexes. In red, yes. yes. The ones that are highlighted in red, yeah. So we've got some folks watching already. How are you guys doing today? Everyone is social distancing, so we figured we might as well get some stuff done as far as gaming goes. Hello, everybody. I've got the the stream muted on YouTube, so if you guys have questions or comments or anything, type them in, and once every blue moon, I'll take a look and you know and and and, and try to answer them. We will try but, and fail uh, to give you an intelligible answer. Yes. So here we go. So I pull up the sequence of play. Mm -hmm. I really wish he had a sequence of play. Let Let's take a look. Um, uh, do, 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 do we? SOPs. SOPs is the um. In, so there's a big charts button next to terrain up there. This thing. Yeah, and it's got all the charts Very and good. S okay. S o S o SOPs is the sequence of play. Very good. So pre turn phase, we do reinforcements and weather, and then we do assignment and first player determination. So. I seem to recall looking when I looked at the game specific rules that there's no weather. There ain't no weather mm -hmm. in uh you know in in the western desert in like May, June, you know, you know, everything through crusadery time time period here. So there is indeed none. Uh, each player rolls in scenarios 5.7 through 5.12 for air points. We are playing scenario uh, the official name of brevity, the number I should say is five point what? Five point three is uh, so the is the case. We don't right, so we don't roll for no air points, no stinking air points. So we do, however. Um, so this is two I'm, turns: uh, fifteen and sixteen May of nineteen forty-one. Commonwealth correct. does get reinforcements. Um, they get the support group in on J this turn. Yes, and I don't believe I get any. Uh, no, you do not. I have what I have, and I let's take a look. Are, do we have any air points for brevity? Either of us? Um, I don't think so. I do get reinforcements. 
I do get reinforcements you on, do. The six, on the 16th. Yes. yes, yes. Okay, okay. so you get uh, Kampf Group of Kerf. You, some of them, yeah. The, the 1st of the 8th Panzer Battalion, I get some more 88s, and I get to roll the die, and I might even get some more stuff. Ooh, so that's it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we actually have all the reinforcements that we can just drag off. Right. Up them right here. And I'm looking for those air points. Boy, I'll find them. Boy, I'll find them. Yes, we know where the combat trains are going. Replacements replacements are not used. Obviously, it's a two-turn scenario. And it does not say. So since it does not say, I'm going to say that means we get none. That's fair. That's my guess. I believe that is that's guess. correct. Um, looking at... Looking at... I'm looking at Operation Crusader to see where they list the air points. Ah, here we go. Well, there's an air points available chart, and it says 5.1 through 5.6, none. So there you go. Oh, well, there That's we go. it. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That solves that problem. So back to SOPs, we, ah, now okay. go to, we now go to assignment. So this is about assignment of support. Uh, you know, we can do it in either order. So to the Vox Populi. Um, there is, there is a Dean, Dean recommends, Dean, Dean Essig recommends in the Brazen Chariot special, um, rules. He basically says you need to play with, um, um, the orders rule, which is an optional rule for the series. But he says for Brazen Chariots, you must play with orders. So what this means is every formation has to get like, a basic move order it could say i'm not doing anything or the example he gives is formation whatever is moving from bardia via cd it's like like with a, a waypoint or something and then he says you don't even have to move you know it's just the inertia of what that unit's doing and in the assignment phase if you choose to do prepared defense or fatigue recovery that's all you're doing you know and that that's their orders so we're playing with that, and then there's a thing called soft and hard jumps that when we, if it comes up, we'll 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 discuss. Um, how's that, Gary? Anything else that, you want to add? No, that sounds good. And there's a <clears throat> in the charts and tables uh, window. There's a hard and soft jumps uh, cheat sheet too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we're good. So assignment. You and I need to secretly write down our orders. So formation by formation. So I don't, let's see. I know I got herf. So some of Herf's on the map now. Is that accurate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Herf, Herf gets some tanks later. You know, um, you know, some tanks roll um, roll on the map. But I have Camp Group Herf. I have Frontier Command. I have Camp Group Vekmar. Vekmar. Hogan. Sounds like something from a D and D campaign. Uh, and I got, um, and I that may be it. It feels like it should be it. It's a very small circle. Yeah. So I have three conf group, well, three formations. So I am going to secretly, Gary and I trust each other implicitly. So, implicitly, wow, that's a strong term. So I am going to create a little Word doc here in my Vassal folder. And I'm going to type for turn one what orders the formations are getting. I'm going to call this file orders. And here we go. Because the Vassal module does not have a notepad. It doesn't? Um, yes, it does. Right here. Does it? It does. Can we, can we keep it secret from each other? I think so. Yeah, so there's public and private. Public visible ah, to all, private there we go. to us. Let's just, let's use that then. I will use private invisible to all others. right and uh, since i am streaming i will write it down on a piece of paper which i'm already working on yeah yeah it sounds good keep it secret
this uh, this strategy might be complete garbage. So <laughs> we'll we'll find out. Let's see. So I got them. I you know <clears throat> back back in the day when TCS came out, um, I and I think I'm not alone in this. People uh, looked at that and said, "Oh, this is so weird. I don't know. I don't know. Think this is going to work. I, 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 you know, this is so alien." Um, now where I'm at, I really like this kind of mechanism, actually. I love the written orders in um, Line of Battle, for example, which is way more involved in this. I, I, I'm i with you. Uh, you know, when I when I first played Dean's games, um, I loved TCS even then, what it was doing. Everyone thought it was weird. I'm like, this is great. You know, you're just establishing a phase line. And I love that, uh, the concept of... of how he was experimenting with C2 in the the Brigade Combat series. You know, it's it, it, it's why that series is still dear to my heart, you know. But I think a lot of grind yards out there, like, I just want to see what I move and kill what I can. Yeah, well, you know, we'll have and, to see and, what, uh, what we can get going when Ariete comes out. Now let me see. There seems like there's like a good minute delay in the uh, video on the stream. Um, could be because I've got the stream up as well in another window. So if there any, is any anybody watching that has issues, please mention it. Okay. I'm, okay. I've I've had enough. Now I can finish my order. Sorry, guys. I'm moving slow with that. Oh, that's goes. okay. We are we have tons of time. We are scheduled till six, so everybody but us will be in and out anyway. It's all good. Uh, while Pat's doing that, we're gonna say hello to Crossing Obstacles Gaming, the Blue Tweezers, Auntie Lucarilla, Steve Boland, and Gary Bartlett. Thanks for popping in. Anybody has any questions or issues, please ask in the chat. Bear in mind that there is a delay uh, for technical reasons that are probably beyond me. Um, the one the one man stream where I just like hop on a webcam and start talking um, is real easy to manage. Um, the the more pieces you add to that puzzle, the more complicated it gets. So that said, we we might we might be doing this for a while, so it, it's a good idea to become proficient with this. Okay, I have my orders. I have saved them. We are, um, so we've done assignment. And in assignment, we also have to sign support. And we can just both do that. That's so. Here. Uh, while I'm fine with making the orders private for now, because that's a strategy thing. Sure. The support sure. we should probably talk about. So we have some support Absolutely. added, and support is gets attached to the HQ. Okay, so here's 22nd Guards right here. So these units are all kind of with the head. These units and markers, I should say, are all kind of with the headquarters. Right. I know some players have. Uh, created these little cards um, to put these all the extra markers off the map so you can just move the HQ around we don't have that here so right I you know sub support is uh, in the game is is really you know you've got a support unit you got two choices with you can either have it be a unit or it's basically parceled out throughout that formation it's you know it's really yeah. that simple and, exactly. and, if, and if you're and if it's parceled out, you just kind of, you know, throw it down, you know, next to where the headquarters is, you know, just to remind you that, hey, that support is out there. And as I'm looking at what I got, um, since this is a learning scenario, we're, we're sharing. Sharing is caring. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really have a whole lot of support. Um, I don't even think I have the 88s up yet. Let me look down here at Frontier Command. Well, I've got this, um, what, I don't even know what that unit is. It's got to be armor of some kind. It is armor of some kind. Um, <clears throat> but those guys are in red support. Now, what's, what's the difference between red support and limited support? Let's find out. Control F, red, C. 
support. Next. Oh, Dean. It'd be nice if you wrote red support if it's a concept and actually had it spelled out in your rules. Okay, so. Red support is support from a red AV. You follow what I'm saying? Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so okay, that, that does you know, make like, sense. Tank destroyers, anti-tank guns, that kind. Of so what you've got there? Let me um, let me get in real close on that unit you're speaking of. So yes, these uh, this will be on the channel. Uh, possibly not instantaneously. It will be posted so people can go back and watch the entire four-hour saga um, later on at their leisure. I am seeing, wow, that's got to be some type of anti-tank gun. Well, this unit right here, this is the... Um, 4RTR. 4RTR, RTR, that's got to be some kind of British, f funny British unit name. Um, uh, Royal Tank Regiment, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I'm guessing it, it's... And that's it's got a, a red armor value. So, right, so, and, right. And it's a yellow symbol, so I'm pretty sure that means that it's actual... It's tanks. hard. It's yes. hard. Right. So let me see. Yeah, hard means it's yellow. Yellow means it's hard, I should say. Double entendre. So that is, it actually looks to me to be a, I can hardly make out the, the NATO. The NATO symbols are really busy in this game. But it looks like to me, because they're, they're like a hybrid um, like trying to really specify the equipment mm -hmm. that's looking to me like a Matilda okay that is indeed a Matilda so yes yeah you're got red support it provides red support you're um, there we go so your your supports laid out and I don't really have any to lay out I got no 88s lying around anywhere spread out through a formation or anything like that right now okay. does not exist so that is that in, in case, terms of assignment, we have a uh, first player determination. Each player rolls two dice to determine who plays the first activation of the big turn. Uh, is this set by the scenario, though? Yes, I'm going to bet hard money since that you, since yeah, you're attacking me. Commonwealth, that, this first activation. Yeah, you are the first activation. All right. So as I recall, and there's an optional rule for this too, where you can actually draw activations out of a cup. Um, we, we are not playing with that because I think that makes this almost a completely different game um so we choose correct me if any of this is wrong we choose a formation with which to activate yeah okay. you just you pick it you activate it and then it's snafu time and we move forward right. yeah thanks blue tweezers it took me a long time to just like fiddle through that and be like oh yeah they're matildas oh uh, yeah. and thanks gary and but, thanks gary yeah it's yeah red support plus one of the attack defender yeah. Thank you, guys. So we defer to the British person when uh, when we have questions about what particular tank that is. It's, a, it's a Matilda. All this stuff's so important now. Won't be next year. Um, so, all right, go ahead. All right. So I think the first uh, the first one that we're going to do. Now I'm looking at this position here, where we have what looks like a two step um, infantry unit, and that's pro that's got to be those are got to be Germans. Um, these are going to be Italians. That's Bersaglieri, uh, where we have two steps and AR4, AR4. So I'm, I'm working through here what I want to hit first. Uh, and down here we have uh, more Germans. Uh, two steps, AR4. Everybody's AR4, actually. Is that actually true? No. Yeah, actually, it does appear to be true. Basically, everybody on the map looks like we're AR4. Oh, except these guys up here, these Italians. Even these Ita uh, even these Italians, they're Bersaglieri, so uh, they're AR4 as well. Uh, so we'll we'll take... Um... And there's got to be some stuff with minefields, too. So let me... Uh, where are minefields on the map? There might not be any up yet. Okay. But we certainly do have fortifications, mines, and wire, I'm a guess. So, let's see. Uh, 
All right, so we're going to, uh, we'll start with activating 20 second guards. Okay, and uh, command range on this is what? Five? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to have to move that. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, that's on the um, that's on the back side of the counter too. So, um, all right. So we're going to start by. I mean, I'm going through the activation checklist here. Um, we're going to flip the HQ to used or reactivate DR, which is not yet. Uh, we have a fresh DRM plus one. That's this on the Snafu roll. Um, we declare a recovery. We remove any coordination of PD, which there isn't any. We flip combat trains to normal. Combat trains should be down here. I think that's the normal side, right? It is. Okay. Uh, we reduce fatigue, which there isn't any. We apply isolation, which there isn't any. Uh, we remove dropped support markers, which there isn't, and decide to reactivate. Um, we don't do that yet. Um, so we declare a regular activation, which is what we're actually doing. Handle MSR right. block level, which I think does not apply yet. Uh, prepared defense, obviously not something that this formation is doing right now. Uh, we determine mixed and apply coordination. Uh, I think that doesn't apply at this point either. No, that looking back really quick on that, you've got units that are buddies, and I'm pretty sure everybody here is buddies. Um... British Support Group, British 22 Armor Brigade... 7th Armor Brigade and the Support Group, Support Group, and the 4th Armor Brigade. And I think all you guys are ultimately coming from... Yeah, yeah. You're not cross... Well, crossing streams is more of a supply thing, but I think you're gold right now. You're set up where you don't, you don't have any problems. Right? Yeah, that should be the case. Um, and in fact, uh, that's likely to continue, at least for these three formations, that's likely to continue to be the case uh, for the duration of the game. Um, yes. Since we have 7th Armor down here, uh, we have the support brigade or whatever this is uh, coming in over here, and we can trace along this, I'm pretty sure. Um, and 22nd Guards is coming in from here. So we should be good on that. So uh, we need to make the snafu roll. Yes. Uh, we are fresh, which gives us a plus one. Uh, optimal distance, at least five hexes, no more than 15 hexes. So 22nd Guards is not five hexes from its supply train. So we don't get that plus one. We don't get any of these. MSR, what is MSR? Your main supply route, which is okay. it, your main supply off map and just your, your, your supply trains have to be free of Zox or any units, you know, on that pathway. And you're, you're, and you should be on a road, so you're fine, yeah. This turn, you're golden. Okay. Are there any game specific snafu DRMs? No. You got a zero for this scenario. And as the axis, when I do mine, I get minus three for Italian formations and minus one for German formations. Okay. So you're you're at a plus one. All Fresh. Right. So let's roll it up. We have rolled a five plus one is a six. That's a partial activation. Yes. How how very Wavell of you. Yes. All right. So how very Ardwolf of me, actually, to roll. <laughs> Not great. Um, even if I had rolled a two, I w it would have adjusted up to a three, and I would get a partial activation. So I got literally, as expected, the worst possible result. Yes. All right, so partial activation. So what do we mean by partial activation? We get half movement allowance. Um, <coughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, but we only get one objective. Yes. Uh, which is unfortunate. So we're going to throw our objective here. Oh, you're going after Hellfire Pass. How with, surprising. With okay. this particular formation, yes. Okay. All right, so... Um, Let's find the TEC just to make sure that this is happening correctly. Um, track is one half for leg. These guys are leg. This is, I'm pretty sure this is, this right here is a track. Yes. Um, it is a track. Bust out the 
Well, it's a little... Eh, no. No, it's not. All right, so looking at hex number 3732, which is where yeah. the Hellfire Pass logo is, that's a track. Yes. Um, hex yes. 4030 is a secondary road, and then that little coastal road is a primary road. Correct. Correct. Okay, so... The um, things with the little with the little dots in them are tracks. Yes. Correct. Yeah. So, um, on the uh, go back to the TEC. So the track is one half for leg. All right. So we can go one. Well, this will actually be one movement point, and I believe he is going to stop because he's entering a zock. Right. Okay. And then the per, the secondary road is one half for everything basically. So he's going to go one. So do I put them in the same hex, I guess, is the real question. I'll put Stacking in, limit is two. I'll put them in the same hex. That's fine. And we've got uh, 12 steps of uh, British infantry here, or Commonwealth infantry here. Uh, and we are one, two, three, four, five hexes away from the HQ, which means we're in range. Right. Uh, and then these guys down A here. A neat little vassal trick that I'm going to show you is, mm -hmm. whoa, look at this. Command range. Ooh, that's neat. Oh, Wow. Yeah, so you can always, yeah, do that. All right, and we'll roll these guys up here. Supply cha uh, supply trains stay where they're at for now. Um, at what point in the sequence of play do we move HQs? Does that happen now, or did that already happen? You, excuse me? What, what point do we move headquarters? You can move your headquarters during your turn. Now, moving your supply train will ghost it, but you can move your headquarters as you as you see fit. You activated the formation, right? Yes. So, so we'll yeah, move the there HQ you go. here. All right. So that's going to be the entire formation moved. So okay. So then at the activation checklist. Uh, so we roll for snafu. We place the objective. We conduct movements, combats, and barrages. Um, right. Which I think we would do as we go. So, shit. Which probably means that we needed to... You just move the headquarters back. So, so y you could do an assault against those guys at any time. Okay. You know? So that's what we're yeah. going to try to do, is we're going to assault. But we have to do it one unit at a time, right? Because we're moving individual... Yes. Units. Okay, so... The first guy to move up was going to be this uh, the Scots. So the Scots go in first, as one would expect. Correct. Um, and we will now conduct an assault. So let's look at that. So we go to combat. And combat monitors. So first of all, I'm going to assume that you're going to use your support with the guards, right? Yes. Your, your one artillery to try to suppress me. Mm -hmm. I would highly recommend that. Okay, so I can do that. Uh, so you're talking about the red support, right? No, I'm talking about like at your HQ. You've got that oh, one value. HQ support. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then you want to use that to suppress me. Absolutely. Okay. So there's a role for that. Uh, let's see. All right, hold on here. Suppression. It's there's um there is no roll. Okay. Okay. So you're just it's suppressed. automatic. Yeah, you're just saying I'm using um missions never uh, suppression missions never generate step losses and make no roll on the barrage table. So you're suppressing me. All right. Okay. All right. So as we as we go down the list of so common modifiers, uh, nobody is dual or supported. The MSR is not blocked. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've done a suppression mission. So when we say dual or supported, what do we right. mean? He says actuating independently plus dual or supported. So support. So there should be support from the Matildas down here. 
if you're right. in range, well, yeah, if you're in range of the what of the red support. So, so the, oh, actually, hold on then. Um, so actually, this moves with the this stuff. This stuff all moves with the HQ because this is all yeah. with the HQ. So we're within uh, yes HQ range. Let me see if we can do this. Uh, oh, we can highlight the whole formation. That's useful. So while you're doing that, I'm looking up support to see what the range of the support is. So, because I'm pretty sure I am, because, so I, the support should support, to my understanding, please correct me if any of this is bullshit, um, the, the oh. support should support the entire formation. Assuming... Gary, Bar Gary Bartlett has helped us out, so he said, he, he informs us that, sadly, the partial activation means you have your artillery. Oh, that's true, which means it's worth nothing, because there's yes. only one artillery. No suppression. The, my Germans are very happy, and he says, "Indeed, you are supported." Okay. Uh, so. So we're looking at a plus one plus the AR of make sure. Pull this guy off here. Thank you, Gary Bartlett. AR is four, but um, are we both rolling, or uh, is it just the attack no. rolling? Just the attack rolls. Just the attack rolls. I, I am in a prepared defense. That was my orders for the frontier. Okay. It was PD. So okay. we, are, we are in prepared defense. So defenders plus one, attackers plus one. And I'm pretty sure that I'm in terrain there. What they call in terrain. Let me clear the... Oh, I'm pretty sure you are. Indeed I am. I am in terrain. And there's yes. X-side terrain, too. Yes. So that's a plus three total for the defender. Correct. However, I think if I sequence this intelligently, it will make sense. So if, if yes. I move the this guy up here first and don't attack, and correct. then move in the Scots, then I believe I can claim the assist from the additional unit, correct? Yes. Okay. So that gives the attacker plus two. So we're at a net minus one on the roll. Sound, sound right? Yes. I also have support from my conf group headquarters, my frontier command. So the defender has support as well. Okay, so we're a net minus two then. Yes. Okay, and it's not. This is not a shock attack. All right. So, and that's not a city hex, correct? No, shouldn't be. There's no actually, city in the middle of Hellfire Pass. Actually, I'm looking at this. That that was a Gary suggestion, but I'm looking at this, and I'm not seeing any. Uh, I'm not seeing any support for the defender. I'm just seeing prepared defense, hex side terrain, and and I'm in terrain. So. All right, so this unit is the frontier. All right, you do have prepared defense. Let's move this out of the way for now. I don't see any. Uh, are you in range? Oh, that's your supply train. Never mind. The HQ is here, and you're at ten, so you're within range of that. Uh, but right. I don't see any support either. No, I, I. I... It would have to. It says non-support red AV in, a, in an open hex, and I don't have that. Right. That I'm aware. Of. So, so, so let's go through it again. Right. So, uh, attacker gets plus one for support. Right. Um, no MSR, um, no suppression mission. Plus one for the assist. Right. Uh, no attack from off map. Attacking formation has prepared defense. That does not apply. It's not a double objective. Nope. Uh, it's not a shock attack. So the nope. defender gets a plus one for prepared defense, a plus one for terrain, and then another plus one for the hex side terrain. Correct. So I believe we're at a net minus one. 
There we go. All I right. would agree with you. Okay. All right. So let's roll it. See what happens. Eight. All right. So that's a seven. So loss is going to be A1. Attacker loses steps. Okay. Defender situational. If unit's in prepared defense or is in or behind key terrain, defender must take a step loss per unit and stay. Otherwise, must retreat. And then traffic, is, stop marker if the defender is destroyed or retreats, which probably won't happen. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a step loss. Let's see here. Decrease steps. Oh, that poor freaking, you know, German detachment of the frontier. Very historical here, folks. You know, getting worn down to the nub by the, by the initial attack, but hanging in there. Okay. All right, so these two units are done then. Um, everybody else, I got to remember to do this in a correct, the correct way. Uh, these two units are will then move up from the back, or this one unit will move up from the back. Um, right. And then that's the whole activation. Right. So correct. now we decide if we're going to reactivate if that was the first activation, which it is. So as yes. I recall, and, I roll. And you are fresh. And you are fresh. Yes. Which I believe gives you a, a bonus, or it, it should. Do uh, I check for fatigue? Roll for fatigue increase. You do indeed roll for fatigue increase right now. All right. Yep. So fatigue right. increase is that over here? Let's see if we can pull it up. I have it with me. Where is it? Fatigue increase table. Okay. Use the roll most likely. Place any combat objective markers. Increase fatigue on a roll. Is this one die? One die. Uh, yeah. Any engagements or attacks by fire. Does what we just count did count as an engagement? No, this combat table was used. Okay, so it's one to three. Right. But plus one for being fresh. Um right. there is no mod no, there's no, no modifier right. for being fresh. Right. All right. Ah, increase fatigue. All right. So we increase Drift. fatigue, which means we go to fatigue Drift. zero. So we're not fresh right. anymore. No. And then on this the snafu uh, the reactivation roll. Right. I'm rolling one die, is that right? It is. It is. I'll remember it. Or I'll find it. It's up there in the um, activation three, sequence of play. It's 3.5B. Yeah, yeah. You roll one die. You add one if the formation is not fresh. If, the, if it's greater than or equal to the activation roll number on the HQ counter. So you need to roll one die. You got no mods. It's straight up roll. And I, I think you did it. All right. Um, all right, hold on a second here. You are greater than or activation, equal. roll one die, add one to the roll if the formation is fresh, other, so which isn't the case. If the modified roll is greater than or equal to the activation roll number, the formation successfully activates. Otherwise, it does not. Okay, so then we make a second snafu roll. Right. And this is no mod, I believe. So Correct. Because we're not fresh anymore. Right. So we are absolutely going to let me look at the looks like we have another partial activation. Yes, that is what you have. Okay, so in that case let's see what we can do here. So we're going to have one, two. We can't get these guys up there. The HQ is not moving. Uh, well, actually, there is a plus one to that now because we should be uh, within optimal distance of. Yeah, so you got a six, which yeah, I think which is still a partial. It's yeah. still a partial. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. So once again, worst possible result. Well, that's actually not the worst possible result. I could have no. rolled snake guys in this case. Um, yes. All right. So we're going to take this guy. Uh, let's pull the. TC up again. Secondary road is still one half for leg. Um, unless I want to put them in move mode, which I could do. 
Okay, so support, uh, the assist is just, it's a flat bonus, right? Regardless of how much stuff is assisting. Is that an accurate yeah. statement? Yes. All right. So we're gonna, we're gonna not put this guy in move mode. We're gonna move him one, two. Okay. okay. And then we are once again gonna um, attack with the Scots. Okay. So we pull up the chart and combat. And... And I wanna say that everything is gonna be exactly the same as it was before. Because... And I'm gonna say you're absolutely correct. Because there's no, still no suppression mission. Right. Right. All it's right. a net minus one. All right. Let's roll it and see what happens. Four. Three Ooh. is our result. Ooh. So attacker loses two. So the Scots are getting oh. the lead here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah kind of, it's kind of feel like the first day of Operation Brevity. Yep. Oh. If we had managed to get a seven out of that we would have vacated that hex for you. So it sounds like um, 22nd Guards is completely done, except for we roll for another fatigue. And it's, it's the same roll. Yep. One through three. Oh, and once yep. again, they fatigue. They're now fatigue one. Okay. All right. Oh. So. Oof. Okay. Um, we... So so now it's your activation, is that correct? It is indeed. Okay. It is indeed. And I am activating... I will look at my orders. And we are going to activate Kampf Group Vekmar. Vekmar. All right. So, okay, I see where you're at here. And let me find. There is the headquarters for Vekmar. There it, it is. It is in 1615. Oh, no, that's the supply train. Never mind. Yep. There he is. Kampf Group Vekmar. Flipped. And. All right. Where is the. Oh, I see it. I see it. Right here. The green stripe guys. Green stripe guys. Okay. So. And we shall begin to move. All right. Let so me gonna... let me let me stop you there real quick. Surely. I'm gonna take this objective marker and pull it off. Oh, um, okay. Just put put it out here in the in the nowhere land, and we're gonna rotate. Uh, we can do that, right? Right. How do we rotate a piece here? Um, which piece are you trying to rotate? The HQ friend? for 20 second guards. Oh, um, let me see if I can help. Let me come to your vassal aid, sir. <coughs> well, oh, you're trying to mark that you've activated it. It's yeah. flipped. That's how you know. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah. So up... Um, you want to, um, since you're guarding, guiding the map, move up to like Bardia, because that's the uh, first unit I'm going to move. Got it. And the thirty third recon battalion is going to boogie um, a little bit south. Let me clear off all this. So it's a bunch of tracks, but we've got. The, the good road. So we're going to stay on the good road because on the good road we get to move uh, half. That that feels awesome. So we're going to go half one, half two, half three, half four. Let me make sure there wasn't some road weirdness. That... Nope, nope, four. Okay. Did you roll the snafu roll yet? No, I did not. I need to do that. Oops. You're absolutely correct. And you are I at forgot. minus one. I'm at minus one for the for the German. The German. So here we go. It's straight up minus. Oh, I'm fresh. So it negates. It's a zero. Okay. Here we go. Seven. So you get a full activation. Yep. So they're going to go half, 
one, half two, half three, half four. And now I need to look and see what the secondary root is, which is still half. Okay. Four. Half five, half six, half seven, half eight, half nine, half ten, half eleven, half twelve, half thirteen, half fourteen, half fifteen, half sixteen. And they're going to boogie there. Third recon battalion is going to kind of stay at City of Z's. And I need to take a look at command range. Which you are out of. Yeah, because we're going to try to bring him back into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, our move is we're going to back him up there. And we're going to move Vikemotter's headquarters to City of Z's. And that is our move. We're done. We're not fighting anybody. We're just kind of getting into position. Okay. So I think you can opt to do second activation if you want. Uh, and I do not opt to do that. Uh, well, well, I forget. I might want to go into prepared defense with those guys. No, no, no. I'm happy. I'm happy. That's it. Okay. That's so my activation. Roll for fatigue. Um, and my fatigue, let me look at the chart. Fat increase table. I didn't even place any combat objective markers. No engagements, no nothing. So I actually don't okay. get uh, any fatigue. We're fresh. Okay. Let me, move. let me freshen him up. Let me freshen him over here. Move his fresh over here. And that's that. Okay. So then it goes to, and you said no on the second activation? Nope. All right. So it's uh, the Commonwealth's turn. So. Let's see what we're going to do here. We have two choices. We can do second armored, seventh armored, second armored not being part of this scenario, uh, or the support. I think we're going to go with the support. So let and they're they're all in this hex right here. This uh, hex uh, hex J. So do the trains come in ghosted? Uh, mm, mm, that's a very interesting question. Looking at that. Let's see. I don't believe so. Like, like initially moving on, I don't believe ghosts them. All right. So if that's correct, let me let me look up ghost. I'm gonna control F ghost while you're doing that. They always arrive. Yeah, reinforcements. They always arrive on the regular. As reinforcements. Okay. Let me. Pull this up. Pull this up so I can do fancy searches too. All right. So if they don't come in ghosted, we're going to make there's uh, let's do the, let's actually look at the activation checklist so we're going to declare start by flipping it to used so we'll flip it to used and right. it's going to be here okay you decide if it's moving um which i don't have to make that decision yet so i won't So 
So we'll flip it to in use. It's got one artillery point if he gets it. Um, we're not going to declare any of this recovery, coordination, none of that applies. We're going to do a regular activation. MSR blocked is not the case. He's not in prepared defense. He's Correct. not mixed. Roll for snafu. All right. So I think the only thing that applies here uh, is fresh. Yes. Is not not neither optimal distance nor ghost trains. Correct. All right. So let's roll it. And see what happens. Oh. All right, it's a partial activation. All right, so we're going to see if my luck holds and that I never roll a full activation for the entire duration of the game. That's, that's plausible. You are suffering the curse of Archibald Wavell. It's not just the Ardwolf thing. Ugh. So... We're going to, I think, uh, we're coming in at J. Oh, actually, I can put, um, let's check that, actually. Uh, I can put these guys in any J, so I may actually put them here. If we're re retrofitting here, I should have made that decision when I put these guys on the map. I hope you don't mind. Right. Uh, TC. Doesn't matter, though, for the purposes of the infantry. So we're going to go one, two, and not attack. And we're going to go one, two, and not attack. Oh, no, we are going to actually attack on the second one. Um, so down to combat charts. Now, once again, we get no artillery. There is no air. So there's no way for us to do suppression here. Right. Where's the combat? There it is. There's the combat charts. So uh, we, we have limited support. What does limited support mean in this context? I think it's support. I'm pretty sure, but I'll, we should look it up. And I am going to... Oh, terrain. What is that gray thingy? That's that I'm hexide in? terrain. Okay. I thought so. Is this the Dave Pentland map? So Up your map up your maps, gamers. Up your maps. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. I said what I I, I got it got it out of my system. Go ahead. So uh, Brian's asking um, what we're using for voice comms and recording. Voice comms, we're using Discord. Um, there's an Ardwolf Slayer Discord uh, server, which we're using. Uh, and I'm using OBS Open Broadcaster for the recording and streaming through YouTube. So what a pain in the nuts. Anyway, um, so it sounds like we're supported Yes. Uh, nowhere in the rules does it say the two words together, li limited support. No. So I'm unclear what the difference is. Um, as am I. I think you're just support. All right. So we're supported. There's no suppression yeah. mission. There is an assist. Um, so we're, again, plus one and plus one. And then this is still the frontier. So you're still in prepared defense. Um, right. Looking at the hex. You have hexide terrain, but not a terrain hex. Right. That's why I was... You have, The terrain chart in here is just explains the terrain, but you have the actual terrain chart. Okay, Does that so great... Let's, let's look at yeah. that. Yeah. So th what that is is a perimeter line fort. Okay. So going to... Let's see here. So, yes, it's terrain, and it's key yeah, terrain. Okay. I thought so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Key terrain is terrain if the defender's adjacent to the hex site and the attack unit is in the hex with the rise wear symbol or outside the fort. Okay, so it's terrain. Yeah. All right. So in that case, we're at a net zero on the roll by my reckoning. 
Yeah, we have the same AR, so yeah, we are we're where we were. All right, so let's roll it up then. Seven. Um, that seems decent. Minus one. So that's. No, I think we're even up. Are we? Yeah, I, so I, I have plus one for support, plus one for the assist. You have plus one for prepared defense, plus one for the hex side terrain. And, and I'm the in same key, AR. And I'm in terrain, which we just looked up. So, oh, okay. So it is minus one. So it's a six. So attacker loses a step. German standing tall. All right. Hellfire so. Pass, Coast Road. Right. Okay. So. so in that by case. What, by one number, one flipping number, Wovell. Yeah, okay, sorry. In that case, I'm trying to figure out what I could be doing better. Um, since, I mean, not, not rolling partial activations would help. Um, but that's still just, you know, well, that's a plus two to combat if I can suppress you, which would be, so maybe, I mean, in the context of a two-turn game, I don't really have much opportunity to say, no. well, I'm going to move into position this activation. I and I then, actually like talking strategy, you mm -hmm. know, for like a two turn game. I, you're doing the best you can. Okay. The, 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 the Commonwealth's rolling on there, and they're trying to, you know, what I mean, bust their way through the coast road, and they're trying to take Hellfire Pass. Okay. And the only way to yeah. do that is move up infantry and, and, you know, take your chances, you know. And and you're right. I think you know you didn't get full activation suppression would have made the difference. I think on 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 at least two of these three attacks you made. Yeah. So, you know. All so, right. So yeah. in that case, that's the whole act. I moved this guy up last. Uh, that's the entire activation. Uh, unless I want to move up the HQ, which I guess I'll do. Even though that's not optimal distance, but just to keep it uh, clean. Okay. Um, so we're going to roll for second activation. But first roll, see if you got fatigue. Oh, right. You get, on, you get on a one through three. No. Not fatigue. No fatigue. You are still right. fresh. So that's the first roll that's actually gone my way. Um, so I guess I, I should have had an objective on that on this hex as well. So I guess we'll keep it there for now. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're learning. Only red support can be used. Oh, okay. So we don't get support for that. Only red support can be used on the attack per Gary here. Gary's correct. So, doesn't matter. It would have been a five instead. Yeah, would have would have made the hand. same thing. But it, it would yeah. probably have meant that I would not have attacked. But that's okay. We're not backing up. So, all right. So we're gonna roll for that second activation. We need a five. Uh, there is a plus one because we are fresh. Correct. And we do our second activation. Excellent. All right. Well, so. Make us snafu let's see what happens mr snafu table here um fresh is the only modifier as far as i can tell yeah so roll it up two how about that so it's a partial activation oh you're right about your luck man i'm you can basically do the same thing again but You'd be at a but, minus two. Yeah, but there's only one. These are only two step units, so I would be yeah. attacking with this guy. Um, at a net minus one, and looking at the combat chart. Actually, I think it's net minus two because you don't even have support anymore, as we determined. Oh, you're right. You're right. So it is net minus two. So my average roll would just be an attacker loss. So I'm not doing that. So okay. we're going to stay exactly where, uh, you know, what we'll do here is we'll actually pull this back one hex. Uh, okay. And move this guy in here. And then prep for, hopefully, you get a full activation at some point during the game. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna delete that objective so you did not place it. That way you won't have to roll for fatigue. We won't confuse that. Okay, You're not going to cool. get... Yeah, yeah. And... That's it for you? Yep. Alright. Well, I got one other camp group I'm going to activate, and that's going to be um, Herf. Herf. And Herf doesn't have a lot of stuff right now, but Herf's going to activate. Flip. 
And let me look at Herf's orders. And flip, because they're going to be in move mode. And Herf and the headquarters are going to go to... Pretty, yeah, half one, half two. They can get to... City Aziz. And... You feel good about being at City Aziz? Let me move the fresh with him. And that is it. My activation is done. All right. So no fatigue because nope. you didn't place this objective. Uh, are you going to do it? Uh, try for a sec. Did you roll for? Um, oh, snafu. snafu? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's important. You do that. Yeah, yeah. Full activation. Okay. Full, yeah. All right. So second activation, uh, yay or nay? Uh, I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna try for it with her. Let me let me do that. So I need a three, a three. Here we go. Nope, no second <laughs> activation. That's right. it. That is it. I think we have activated. I think we finished the first turn almost. Nope, seventh armor. You got one more. Yep. Oh, go for it, seventh armored. All right, go. So objectives. Looking at the orders here. All right, so. We're going to make, this is a regular activation. We're going to make the snafu roll. Um, once again, they're fresh, right? They're fresh. So we have a yeah. plus one uh, is going to be the, oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, there's a, an extra plus one for optimal distance. One, two, three, four, five. We're seven hexes away from seventh armored supply trains. So we Correct. have a plus two on this roll. No, oh, look at that. All right, that's a full activation. That is a full activation. All right, so we're going to place uh, objective. This is going to be a double objective right here at point two oh. Uh, is that point two oh seven? No, it's, it's not. But it's just south of, of point two oh seven. All right. Yeah. So, what do we have to work with here? We have this recon unit. You have some. A jock column is what you got. A couple of jock columns. Strafer. That's armor. This recon unit that's out in the middle of the desert for some unknown reason. Um, so what does the screen do? The screen... It lets you place more objectives, basically. But they're, but they're not the combat objectives, correct? They can move, establish objective uh, markers, and uh, spot barrages normally. They cannot attack, assist, or initiate engagement. They cannot jump HQs or combat trains. All right, so we're going to ditch the screen then. While screening at units cannot initiate engagements, they can be fired upon on the engagement. Units marked as screening cannot be attacked on the combat table barrage. Instead, screening units automatically retreat three hexes if any enemy unit moves using deployed leg MA, uh, using deployed leg MA enters their hex. Okay. Well, I think we'll probably keep the screen on them, actually, because it's not like we're going to get the chance to jump your combat train right now. Let's look at this one. All right, well, I guess he's staying in move mode. That's a recon unit, so that's not surprising. All right, so okay. TEC, uh, Desert also, is one for... Just to also tell you, it, it, so you have a normal ZOC, right? Mm -hmm. But it increases, like, the, you get a screening ZOC of an extra three hexes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go one, two, three, four to get on the road. Primary road, that's tactical movement, I think not truck 
So it's going to be one half on the secondary road. So I said one, right. two, three, four. Uh, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. That's nine, ten. Put him there. Eleven. No, wait, wait, one second. Uh, it's a tr uh, it's one per on the tracks for tactical movement type. Correct, right. So that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So he's going to go here. Here. And he's, he's done. All right, so next... Now we could try to uh, suppress, we could do an attack by fire with the tank. What's the... Um... Right, you get two fire, you get two fire events. He's gonna have to stay in move mode. So he's gonna go one. So I think, I think the objective, thinking about it, I think we're not gonna place the objective, even though we're in full activation. I got gotcha. you, um, because because you want to do an attack, so why take the fatigue? Yep, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, so we're gonna go. This guy started here, so he's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's the range on that attack by fire? So I'm gonna. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's adjacent. Like the the only thing that can do it like not adjacent in like baptism of fire is like tigers, oh, you know, or okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, actually that makes sense. All right, so in that case we'll go here. We'll we'll stop there, and we'll move up some infantry. So uh, this is truck. So this is one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And just for good form, I should be flipping this HQ. This is in move mode, right? Uh, it's yes. Not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to have to move this. Uh, we're going to have to move this up, but that's okay. And then this guy's going to have a twelve, so we're going to move him one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then we got to move this guy up some. Don't forget to bring the screen with your guy. Uh, yes. Your dude. Where's that PD range? There we go. So this guy's. I got your screen up here. I got it right here. Whoops. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, that's actually this guy. Okay. And push. I got your fresh marker too. Wherever you end up putting your headquarters. All right, I got it. We'll go right there. Right. We got the I'll get my hands up there. Get my grubby little mouse off your counters. All okay. Right, so now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're fifteen hexes away from the supply trains. Right. So the supply seems really, really, really straightforward. Um. But attacking is tricky. So let's. Now, what did you just highlight off of? What's... That's your command range. But I'm, I'm. What do you have your supply range on? You got some PD oh, range. Okay, What's PD range? Uh, that is. Hmm. Don't remember. All right, so we need to move this guy up here. He needs to stay on the road. 
Uh, he's still within 15 hexes. It's 15 hexes as the crow flies, as I recall. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we are exactly 15 hexes away from supply trains. All right, so that's the whole activation. I think we're not going to have to roll for fatigue since we bailed on the objective. Um, so we're going to try for second activation. And he is fresh. And he has a four, so let's try for that second activation. No. Oh, no, he does make it. It's, is it four or less? It is four. It's four or less. Is that right? Or is it four or more? It's four or more, so that is no, no on second activation. That is no bueno. Okay. All right, so turn command range off. All right, and now I see... I just saw done mode. Right. And now I don't see it. Enter done mode. Okay, so he's done. He's done. And he's done. All right, just to get uh, get that straight. All right, and I believe that is the whole turn. You need, I believe, yeah, you need a four more. Kev's just love you. Kev's just chiming in late. Yeah, no, nope, it's so, it's four yeah, or more. Yeah, yeah. We got so it. there's a there's a there's a. I don't, and I'm not sure why. It could be because the internet sucks right now. But the whole the whole internet, not my internet particularly. Um, there is a significant delay in the chat. Really? So, yeah, in the broadcast, I can tell because it's doing stuff I was doing like 45 seconds ago in the stream right now. Right. Okay. So bear that in mind. I would like to thank everyone. For yes. Um, for hopping in. We have 17 watching, of which I am one, and Pat is one, and I might be two, actually, thinking about it. But um, still, that's, you know, we're, we're doing great. And this is about learning BCS more than anything else and maybe sharing the experience. So let's um, turn off the highlight formation. I think we are good to go on the turn. So let's pull up the admin phase. So we orient or flip. So I'm going to yes. I'm going to mark everything not moved. And Let's. then I'm going to find the HQs and say uh enter available mode. Hey, just flip them and up. Just flip your HQs. It's so pretty OP. Kirk, is it Alt-P? It's Alt-P and, and Control-F. Control-F? Yeah, okay. All right. So we're good to go on that. So we didn't take any of the objectives in the first turn. Um, I'm going to hit my Reset All HQs button. Well, that would be cool. Which reset my HQs. And we're good. Cool. Okay. Yeah, Yeah. you see uh, there's a... Uh, I reset all HQs, so everybody's good. All right, so that's it. That was that was turn one, which flew by. All um, right. So reinforcements and weather for turn two. So let's actually go up to the turn record track and move right. us down to turn two. We are scenario five point ah, three. Axis reinforcements. Yes, so... you get some time. But where where do they show up? I think your Colonel Clink accent needs some work. But where do they, do they go? Okay. Okay, so it says... C2600. For the, for the armor For that armored and comp group. And then signed to any the formations, you get an 88. Yeah, the 88s just show up. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, they're, 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 they're getting going. So where is 2600? Come here, 2600. Uh, edge of the map, basically. See see that hex that's marked by the yeah. scenario access supply source? It's, it's adjacent. Uh, no, that is the hex, actually. Yeah, I found it. I found it. Ac Bureau, Bureau Hariga. Here we go. Boom. That's it. And the 88s, um, no surprise here, are going to go to the Frontier Command because it's time to start tearing up your... Uh, tanks just as they start to attack me where did i put them 
Where did I put them? Kev's like, great stuff! Meanwhile, he's shaking his head. These guys, I swear, they don't know what they're doing. The clowns. Yeah. It's clown town yeah. shit show. So, let's see. They're going to be assigned to the Frontier Command. Yeah. Yeah. And they're going to be in support mode as they're assigned. Flip. Support. Let's get those 88s like on that machine gun battalion that you're about to attack with all your tanks. That's 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 my game plan. So All right, my reinforcements have arrived. Now I get to I get a rando thing with um uh, roll one die arrives on a 5 or 6, otherwise does not for each unit. Oh, the are all the follow. This seems like a real scenario unbalancer. Right? Like, like if I get it, all of a sudden I got all this stuff that I could throw at you. Um, but anyway, all right. So I'm rolling a D6, and I got them. Okay, okay. Which is great. So that's like, like I an said, entire new formation. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's kind of. I get it that they could have showed up, but this is so. This is me reviewing as I'm talking. Mm -hmm. That's like a real like for for a short scenario like this. It, that that's like a major hey so if you roll like two out of six you get like a whole other formation boy that mm -hmm. seems like a lot of, like a lot huh? <laughs> it does yeah of course so... you gotta position them too so i mean uh and they come in at 2600 yeah i'm gonna back them off by one because you know otherwise everybody be overstacked And he doesn't really say anything about that, so. And we'll have. Yeah. Fifth light, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll throw the tanks up here with the other guys that are coming in for Herf. And. Uh, there's the fresh marker for the new formation. Wow, that was okay. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, See, I knew we should have played the bulge. I don't bulge. You know that. I'm I don't, I don't, aware. I don't bulge. I, I, I don't even least front anymore. I don't need to Stalin or Stalingrad. Played it 500 freaking times. This is my Stalingrad. I am super inexperienced. For what it's worth, I am super inexperienced with North Africa stuff. Um, I have played very little in the you know the context of having done wargaming off and on for a long time for since like 1981 or something like that. Right. Um, yeah. I have done very little North Africa stuff. I've done a lot of East Front and quite a bit of. Um, West Front and a bit of Pacific and a bit of like air naval type stuff and very little North Africa. So not that that's an excuse. Um, I don't think that's why I'm crap in the bed here. But no, I, I, you know, that's kind of my gaming. I don't bold and I don't least, what I call the least front. I'll do med. I'll do interesting stuff in the West and I'll do the Pacific. But I've I played those. You know, but this is my bulge game. This one's different. Yeah, I don't care. Well, maybe so, it's different, but but I'm yeah. you know I'm I'm topped off on build stuff. That's uh, yep, 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 yep. I'm good. I'm full. No more lasagna. So um, anyway, let's. So all the stuff showed up. We're good. Now we have to do or, ordery stuff again. Um, so let me do some ordery stuff with the notes. All right, I'm not 100 percent sure anything I wrote down is changing. To be honest, um, I. I kind of am, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do. That. All right, so no, it's some stuff ain't changing. Um, actually, I am changing some stuff, but. I believe we're we're kind of getting positioned for a draw here. To be completely honest, I I th I think that's exactly what's going to happen. I think I might even win if you don't get um Hellfire Pass, Hellfire wow. Hellfire, Hellfire Pass, and what is it KG Five Light? I'll call it. 
I believe who it is. Five lekt. Five five lekt to same place. Everybody's what is right. this man doing here? <laughs> Hogan. <laughs> How can a man who talked to me for three minutes say it was the wrong number? All right, so let's go. We are done. I'm done with my assignment stuff. My assignment stuff is even done because my uh, my, my only stuff I could assign, which is my 88s, are like spread out. They're, I got 88s uh, with the Frontier Group, and that's who those guys got assigned to. So we're done with assignment, my friend. So right. we can roll right into... I think we get to roll for activation now. We I think do. now it's like a, a thing. I'm still working on orders for seventh armored here. Okay, you you take your time. Go. Ah. I think we're about ready. Right, I think we're gonna finish this early, and oh, yeah. next time we go, we can. Next time we do this, we can blunder our way through Crusader. Yeah, you know? Well, maybe yeah. So there's uh, um. Well, we could talk about that after this turn. Yes, yes. Um, all right, so... So we roll two dice. I don't believe there's any modifiers to this roll. Uh, we no, roll I think... Two dice, and I think, whoever goes, gets higher goes first. I think it's straight up. Here we go. I'm rolling your roll. An eight. Yep, how about that? Okay, so you're first. The Germans have the initiative. Okay, so... Are we going to activate? I think we are too far away. I think we may be too far away. We are going to activate half. Okay. Maybe not. Five light isn't even going to get to the fight. No. Let me see here. We are going to activate Kampfgruppe Wegman. Wegman. What? I may live to regret this, but this is what I'm going to do. And I now need to roll a snafu. I am fresh, so I am. Believe I am zero net zero DRM. Here we go. Yeah. That is that is a partial. So not Vecman, it's Vecmar. Vecmar. Right. Half one, half two, half three, half four. Half five, half six. Half seven, half eight. And let me bring that screen along as I come in to protect the supplies from your from your evil hands. And Vekmar Vekmar number two is going to go half one, half two, half three, three, half four. Yeah. Half five. And a half to there. And then the Vecman headquarters is going to go and join up with the other guy who was screened. Because they're starting the same hex. And they're fresh! Fresh! 
And now I will try to do a second activation. Let's see what happens. I need a... I need the number or less, right? For the activation or the number or the higher. The number or more. The number or more. I need more than a five or more. Here we go. Got it. Let's see what happens on uh, the snafu roll. It's a net zero. Full activation. What to do? What to do? Do I want to try to go up there and smack your recon guy? Do I want to draw blood? Do I want to be aggressive? Or do I want to be defensive? I'm going to be defensive. This guy's going to go here. His screen. This guy's going to go... We're going to set up a screen with him. Clone that screen. Clone. And that's what we're going to do is we're going to kind of use Vekman here to do what Vekman should do. Screen my defensive positions from your armor that's going to be coming after. And let me... Everybody's in command range. Vekmar itself is going to go shit in the prepared defenses over here. I am done. I'm done, Hogan. Your turn. Okay. All right. So I think the smart thing to do, let me zoom in just a wee bit here, is probably to uh, to roll for 20-second guards first. Um, go up there and smack at me, huh? You can yeah. come smack me. And... That's the idea. All right. So let's try to do this the right way this time. So we're going to flip 20 second guards to show that he is activating. We're right. going to pull the snafu table up. Um, they're no longer fresh, but they are optimal distance. So they're plus one. Correct. Full activation. That'll help. Yep. All right, so we're going to put our double objective right here. Just hammer the crap out of Hellfire Path. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to advance this. Uh, looks like these are Coldstream Guards. Um, third Coldstream Guards. Looks, looks yeah. like it. So I yeah, have yeah. no knowledge of the orders of battle for this thing. Um, all right, and we're going to make an attack. So okay. So that table. So, you get suppression. So we can suppress with the artillery. So we're at a plus two for the suppression. We are going to claim an assist from the units in the adjacent hex, which we can okay. do. I just looked it up. Um, so that's another plus one. We have a plus one for the double objective. Plus four. That's what I see. Uh, we have uh, equal ARs. I have prepared defense. I've got terrain. I've got... Uh, terrain hex side. Yeah. And I do have support now. All with right. the 88s. So, uh, and I got support too, actually. Well, I got support. Well, I got support. Okay, so I have a plus five. You have a plus four. Correct. Correct. All right. So we're, right. we're at a net plus one. This is realistically about as good an attack as I'm going to be able to manage here. So let's roll it and see what happens. Woo! Look at that. I, I, you took Hellfire Pass. All right. A1, if the defender has a prepared defense, otherwise no loss. You do have a prepared defense. So I'm going to take a loss. And um, D, situational. Uh, if unit has prepared defense or is in or behind key terrain, defender must take a step loss and stay, otherwise must retreat. Does not matter. I only have one step left, so I'm going to fall back. Okay. All right. You have and taken. So the retreat, is the retreat two hexes? It, 
I bl- actually, you're right. It's three hexes. And can you yeah. retreat into a Zoc, which you are currently in? No, I gotta go this way. One, two. Okay. All right, and then advance after combat. I, I do get an advance after combat. Yes, right? you can but, move in. Take all it. All right, so we're going to advance this here. Okay. So we have met our objective. What happened to the objective hex? I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, someone points out minus one for fatigue level, but they provided no no context there, Brian Jarvis, but thank you. Uh, that's so, still a full activation in this case, though. Yes, because you rolled. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, it is. It is minus yes. for fatigue level on the snafu. Yes, roll. yes, yes. Good. You took off our pass. All right. So, what else are we doing with this guy now that we have done that? Um, we get our full movement. So we could go one, two, three make an attack up here or we could go one two uh, actually that's one one right there and two right there and try and get that uh, I think we will do that in fact and then we will go one two and we're gonna make another attack here okay and we're gonna attack this hex here now so suppression is done is the town ter- considered terrain probably oh that maybe not hold on let's check that, that's why or is it it looks like a village that's a point of interest point of interest so no it is not nothing it so, ain't nothing so but we don't get the double objective and we don't get the suppression, but we do get the assist. Yes. Um, and the support. Any... Support from? The red support. Okay. Everything. So you... That should support everything. Right. So you are... That's plus two, correct? Yes. And then you're at prepared defense, so you're at plus one. Wait a second. You don't have an objective there, do you? I don't. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're right. I can't even make that attack. Absolutely right. Okay. But you can but you can be prepared if you get a second activation. Correct. So it's not. Correct. So let's check this. Okay, so we're good to go on that. It would be nice if we could clear this out, but not particularly critical. Um, so let's uh, roll for fatigue. Let's make sure we're doing this correctly. Place any combat, engagements or fires. It's a one to three. I'm going to use this one to three. Okay. No additional fatigue. No additional fatigue. So now... You get to see it now. You get to see if you get a second activation. Mm-hmm. Do I take a penalty for the fatigue on the second activation? I don't think so. I don't so. think Let there's... Check that. Look it up, but I'm pretty sure it's like a straight up... Um, what do you call it? The Looks like the only modifier to that is if the unit is fresh. Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll roll for it. So you need a... Not that. So no second activation. No, so 20 no. second guards is done. And it's your activation. We are going to activate... Kampf Group Huff! Flip. Flip. A Kampf Group Huff is going to... Now, rolls for snafu, and we are fresh, so it's a net zero. Okay. So Badass right. full, act- full activation. Half, half, half three, half four, half five, half six, half seven, half eight, half. Nine, 
10. Now we're going to leave Hearth behind. Nine. 10, 11, 12. Th we will have our tanks! Join! The other comp groups recon to beef them up when you come attack. And we shall now boogie the other hearth down the road. So is that in 3425 it looks like? Yeah. Does that 88 stack for free? No, he's Oh, support. that's an HQ. You're right. You're right. It's all it's all yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Yeah, yeah. They're all HQs, right. That's just, that is the command post. And this guy is going No. That you not one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I've moved a supply source marker inadvertently. Put back. Ten movement points so far. Now I will point out Eleven, that twelve. 13. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, 14. Subsequent snafu rolls, you, you run the risk of crossing the streams here because you're going to, it's the route between the HQ and the supply trains. But it's the second turn of a two turn game. So Right. That was my philosophy. You are correct. I'm like, I don't care. There ain't no turn three. So, uh, but we're going to see if I get a second activation. And her, it's a five. So let's see if I get it. I do not. Herf is done. Okay. And what do you? All right. So, um, so what I think we will do is defer the mechanical question of what's going to happen over here for now, and let's roll with. Uh, the support unit. Gotcha. So it seems it kind of feels like the natural choice retro, you know, n now that I think about it, that the nat the support brigade is a su support group, I should say, um, is a support group. They've got some infantry, but there are they're not a lot of infantry steps there. They might actually no. be better served by 22nd guards rolling through Hellfire Pass and then uh, attacking this Frontier unit yeah. 3630 with and that, support from the support unit, which is not what I did. That, but and that was the intent of brevity, which was you know the heavy the infantry heavy hitters were supposed to take Hellfire, and then the support group were the mobile guys who are on the coast road, right? So once that's mm -hmm. clear, you know, then you go up to Solemn. Having said that, they're using this as an intro scenario, and yeah. it's only two turns. Yes, you, you know, you exactly. know, I, yeah. But anyway, yeah. All right, so. Um. Well, let's go with Seventh Armored instead. So okay. Let's activate Seventh Armored. Let's pull up Mister Snafu table. Uh, they're still fresh, so they're plus one. They are optimal Correct. distance, so that's another plus one, and they're not crossing the streams. So we're at a plus right. net plus two to the roll. We have rolled a five, it goes to a seven, which is a full activation. Correct. So, what happens? You have a three hex zone of control with these screening units, right? Correct? And you get minuses to your movement point in that zone. So I will look at. For, I will find it again. I didn't want to keep going off at the mouth reading the rules off to you. Before. So, enemy units moving on their move side pay plus one movement point for screen zone hex entered extra movement point so these guys have a normal zock but then they've got an extra screen zone which are all kind of in now uh well, well not so within three hexes of them so zock which is one and then two three 
anybody who goes in there pays an extra movement. Anybody that's moving on their move side. Yes. So yes. what we can do here, let's see, see what we can do. Can I do, do stacking limits uh, apply at all times or just at the end? Hmm. It would make sense if it applied at the end, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would, but uh, that would make be so much if it sense. Applied all the time, either. Control F, stacking. Stacking. be cool if there was an index yeah i'm a big fan of those in war games i think someone has prepared an index. stacking <laughs> but here it is pardon me stacking the is the force at the end yeah end of the activation all right good all right so, so we're gonna move one two three and then i think you have the option to retreat that guy Mm, we are. I'm going to take you up on that. Is that a three hex retreat? Oh, screening is special, so let me look that up. Eh. They automatically retreat three hexes if any enemy unit moving using deployed leg ma which this is not this is not there's their I... hex ignore the screen units zoc effects if a leg ma unit is moving into its hex ignore the screen units zoc effects if a leg ma ma unit so you don't have to retreat that in fact you don't I even can't... have the ability to retreat that correct so that's that but they can't be attacked on the combat table or by barrage you can do a fire attack all like right. an engagement yeah now would be the time all right well let's do it um all right so oh i didn't set objectives shit um so we're gonna split the objectives this time i think we're gonna do an objective here and an objective up here we'll see it see if that ends up making any sense at all sure all right so we go no to the double objective thing. zone. No limited AV. Um, do you have multiple supports? Mm. Oh, you're an AV yeah. uh, at AR five too. No. Is support involved? Uh, I think the answer to that is no, because it's only limited support. Yes, you're correct. So base for each side is AV plus its action rating. So I am AV, you're AV zero, I am AV two. Plus four a, is a six. Right. And you get a plus five for a five. Right. So I think I'm at a plus one. You are. And with no support involved. All right, let's roll it and see what happens. Eight plus nine. Target loss and retreat. So, was support involved? No support yeah, involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. Plus nine. one uh, for my A A R A V whatever it is. So we take a step, uh, decrease steps, and we retreat. So when we say. That's a target loss and retreat. We look at no no support. Yeah. Uh, wait. What did we get? We got an eight and nine. So it's target loss and retreat. So you do you lose right. a step? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. So you had more than one step. All right. Yes. Oh, okay. Quite a few steps for a recon, actually. All right. All right. So no, this... yeah, their whole that's the whole third recon battalion. It's it it's big. Yep. All right. So this guy's done.
All right, so we can move up. Uh, that's more recon. One, two, three, three and a half, four. All right, so we're going to move up one, two, three, four. That's a leg that, unit. That triggers a retreat. Correct, and we're going to do that, just that. Okay, very good. Now, one, two, three, four. Okay, that will not work. So we're now going to have to put this guy in move mode. Which if we end up attacking in that deployed mode, that's got to be some kind of negative. If, if I can attack at all, maybe I can't attack at all. Are you there? Yep, I'm here. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I hear you fine. All right, yeah. so we're going to go one, two, three, four. And this guy's going to go one, two, three, four. And then we've got this, re this recon unit. We're basically in a standoff down there. Yeah, I got really propitious rolls with the... Um the what do you call it the recon guys actually i think this is a good learning scenario by the way because it like taught me how to use the screens you know mm -hmm. like that, that, that's exactly what you want to do with recon get in the way you, you know screen them retreat we're actually going to move the combat trains which will go they shall him. be ghost yeah up here I think we are which means I'll move this up about to there about to there might as well keep moving so I'm going to be dependent on we're moving up here let me, let me count this out again <clears throat> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen okay so we're good um, in case I get that second activation which seems unlikely all right, so we're going to roll for fatigue. This is going to be a situation in which we did not, uh, we didn't do this before. So there was an engagement. So I believe I, we did place, okay, so fatigue on one or two. Right. No fatigue. All right, and let's move this up here and this up here. All right, so we got a second activation. We need a four. We are still fresh, so we get a plus one. Right. We have a six. We do get a second activation. But now when we go to Snafu, we are going to show um, optimal distance, yes. Fresh, yes. But ghost trains, also yes. So we're to net plus one on the Snafu roll. Oh, looks good. All right, we, we do get a second activation. So uh, let's place objectives. Um, yeah, I think you got to go for, for Capuzo. Yeah. That's the only thing I could possibly do. Yeah, you got to <clears throat> do it. All right, so zooming back in. Let's blow that off again. All right, so. This is going to be one, two. So we're going to go one, two, three. Remember, I still have a screen. But he's in leg. Right, yeah. And, yeah. and on the deployed side. All these guys will be on deployed. Well, maybe not this one, but um, we can go one, two, three that there now i think we'll do an engagement i think yeah, i would i would uh-huh um so we get no support um so we're gonna have i have support you do you have multiple supports 
Yes. Um, no. Just have support. Okay. So it is a double the... objective zone. Well, wait a second. I'm. I actually might now. Yes, I do have multiple supports. I have the 88s and I have the Frontier Headquarters. Okay. So you have zero plus your AR of five. Okay. So you have... Okay. So you're at a plus one for multiple supports. I'm at a plus one for double objectives. Uh, we're rolling on support. So that looks like it's uh so i have a six plus a five so you're at a five plus one or six i'm at a six plus one or seven so it looks like i'm at a net plus one does that sound right that's how um plus one double objective multiple supports what's your extra plus one from the fact that i have an a uh, av yes net plus one okay uh so is support involved is the question Yes. Now, hold on. We're in. Ter we are also in terrain. That's important for like retreats and shit like that. So, okay. Well, so if target is in terrain, max range is one hex. Right. Standoff support and target is not support. Result is target lost and retreat. All right. So we're rolling on support involved. I think. We're Yes. All right. So net plus one. Woo! Twelve. Target, target loss. loss. If fire is standoff support, which is not the case, and target is not support, which is correct, and target is not support, so that doesn't apply. It result is target loss. Right. So it's target loss. So we just take some loss. Okay. So we're gonna. But you recon... don't retreat. Right. Decrease steps. That is that. All right. So next, you get a second fight. Did you? Yeah, you can get a second engagement with those guys. I can. Yeah, two. You can get two fire. You can get two engagement. Before you couldn't because you couldn't move anymore. Oh, okay. I guess that's true. Yeah, 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 All right. Yeah. So same, same. But it's the same roll. I might as well do it. There's no sense in not doing it. That's an eleven. Right. That that's another is... target loss. We're going to lose us some more recon guy. Everybody okay. in there is AR4, right? No, the Italian. Oh, AR5, actually. So that's the yeah. last step of recon, but there's not much else I can do with this. So this this dude's done. Yes. So I'll move up here. One. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. And we're going to make the assault. Okay. So, you're going to claim that AR-5, I would think. Yes, I am. All right, so you're a 5, I'm a 4. <clears throat> Looking at the combat tables. It is yep. a double objective, so plus 1. There is no suppression, but there is an assist. Oh, wait, I can suppress with the yes, 1 I, And I would suppress. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, hell, hell yeah. So, plus 2 for that. You're going to have a plus four from all. That's what I count. All right. So did you have prepared defense in there? Yes. Okay. So plus one. There's two units. So you there's, get plus one, another plus one for that. You get... There's he terrain and hexide terrain. So that's a plus two. So it looks like a uh, minus... Not minus one. And I'm trying to think... Oh, I, and I do have support from the 88s. Okay, so that's a net minus two. That's garbage. Right. But we got to do it. So let's see what we get. That's a seven. A that is a D situational. So if prepared unit, if unit prepared defense <clears throat> or is in or behind key terrain, you must take a step loss and stay. Otherwise, must retreat. We're going to do just that. We're going to hold on to our objective. We're going to destroy third recon. Bye bye. Go to Deadpool. And take a step with the Italian. Okay. Okay. 
Where is the dead? It's got to be a send a Deadpool. Send a graveyard. There you go. Bye bye. Oh, so step loss per unit. Okay. Okay. So this is oh, yeah. this is where the juice is right here. This is uh, where it's all going to come right. down to. So we're going to go right. one, two, and we're going to make the attack. Okay. Um, we're at double objective for plus one. Suppression is a suppression used already. So we can't uh, use that again. Is that correct? I believe yes. I believe it can be used once. You can use support once. Let's let's double check that. It's important. Because it is the same hex. Yeah, using available already or airplane to support your attack sequence. Okay. Attack. Like if you had an airplane, you could do another surprise well there's nowhere so okay so no, none of that okay. so it's a double objective we don't have support um we have a four and a four this time but you're prepared defense you have do you have support still yes 88 okay yep. all right so and you're at uh what was the plus two from all right so hold on let's let's take it from the top all right, all right. so attacker uh no suppression um, but, and we don't have support. We get plus well, one for the double objective. Right. So we are at a, a five. Okay. And do you have an assist? Do you have an assist? I do have that? an assist. Yeah. Okay. So we're, yeah, you're right. We're at a six. All right. So okay. you're at a four. Oh, you're not at a four. You're at a I'm three. I'm at a three. Yeah. Okay. So you're at a three. You but have I'm prepared defense. Terrain. I have. Hexide and terrain. And hexide terrain. Plus prepared defense. So you're at a six. Six and six. And, and support. All right, so it's it's a net minus one then. Right. Six. A one. Ah, held out. Would have rolled one more, and I would have forced you out of that position. All right. So that is the end. Uh, technically, it isn't. Oh, Gary, Gary makes a good point. You can't attack a hex with a regular attack more than once anyway. Oh. So the, the, the point is moot. All right. Well, in that case, since we just did it, since you took no losses, I'm going to take this back. Yeah. Give yourself a step back. All right. That's the battle for Fort Capuzzo, though. It's... Yep. That's done. And I can't get this guy. I might be able to get him up there, but I don't know that he can do anything. Since he'd be moving, no, I'm not even sure I can get him up there because he's the entire way he's going through the screened hex. So it's plus one per hex within the screen area. Uh, yeah, plus one movement point All within right. the screen area. So we'd be going one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. So this guy's got a zero AV, and it's a limited AV. Yeah, I don't think you can. Nope. So I don't you can, think you can't do engagements, right? That is what it means, right? So you can't do engagement okay. fire like your armor, right? Right. And, and and you don't have an assault thing. Right. Now, if you if you flip the guy. Right? This guy doesn't. This guy flips to nothing. Right. So he's pure recon. He yeah. can't assault. He can't fight. Yeah, right. All right. So so there's very little point in doing that. But what can we do? We might be able to do something something shitty. Um, Flip your wheeled recon guy with 7th Armor Brigade. That's this guy? Yeah, your screening guy. All right. See what he's like on the other side. That's probably your only option. I think he's got nothing on the other side. As well. Oh, all right. Well, let's let's see what we can do here. So we got all one right. plus one is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's going to have to go seven, uh, six and a half to here, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half. To stay out of that screen. Ten and a half, 
11 and a half. Twelve and a half, thirteen and a half, because he's no, he's not inside the screen there. So that's where he's at. That does that should, I think, create problems on your snafu roll. Next turn. Additional. Yes. Well, this turn, actually, for anybody that hasn't moved yet. I don't know if that applies to any of these guys. Right. Um all right. And then this guy, who's actually not screening, is gonna go one, two. Three, four, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half, eleven and a half, twelve and a half, thirteen and a half, thirteen and a half. I'm not sure that's really worthwhile, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay. And then we'll move this guy, move the HQ up one hex so that at least this guy is in one, two, three, four, five in command range. This guy will be out of command range. There's not much, not much I can do about that. Uh, all right, seventh armored is done. Do you have another formation? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, it's your go. So I think. I are... think that um well we'll see what happens we'll see what happens i think you're guaranteed at least to draw where we're at right now yeah the only so the guys we have aren't going to have any msr problems because their supply is over here at this access supply store the fifth light guy so they are going to activate flip and i'm just going to see if i can roll in there and like schwack you you know that's worth the shot but i don't think so i think we're too far away well, maybe. Maybe. think we're going to go. Let's see. One. Oh, first I got to do a snafu. That's true. And we're, we're full, full oh, yeah, activation. You're, you're golden. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, because you're in a screened area. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, exactly. And we're coming up on these guys, and we are going to do a fire event. Okay. So, let's pull that table up. So, here we go. It's a gem and shoot back. So, we're here we are on the engagement charts. Neither of Did I lose you there? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Neither of us have any support involved in this one, it looks like. I have a limited support. Actually, oh, you do? he is in command range, and he has limited support, which counts on the defense. Okay, so support is involved is the table. You don't have multiple supports, just... That's correct. Okay. And Oh, I didn't place objectives. Oh, which I guess okay, you should. Would, which I, which Does was that going matter to be here? Uh, so you're going, to put a, you're going to drop a double on him? Yeah, because okay. that's about as far as I'm going to get this turn anyway, is 14. So let me let me drop let me drop a deuce on you. Um, let's see. We're gonna keep that as a phrase. Drop a deuce. Come on, where's the? There's a. There's a simple right click where you can just drop a place marker. Maybe it's not in this module. So I'm going to steal your double objective. That's fine. I thought you could do that, actually. Maybe I'm just missing it. Yeah. The, the baptism fire uh, uh, baptism fire module has a straight up you, it, place markers. You know, you could just yeah. place an objective. Okay. So we're going to get one shot because you're going to retreat. So we, we're going to make it pay. 
Um, uh, we got a double objective zone, and what is your AV? Uh, zero, I think. Four. My action okay. rating is four. Your action rating is four. My and I've AV got a... is zero. Yeah, yeah, and I've got a five, so I'm six. Plus one is seven, so I've got a plus. Th is what this turns into. Let's see what happens. You got a seven, but I got a. No, that's it. That's it. But it's on the right. support involved table. Right. Okay. So here we go. Roll Plus up. three. A nine. Target drop. What does target drop mean? No result if target is not in support. No result if target is not support. Right. So that means you, your support gets dropped. That's what it would mean. So oh, for you, oh, it, okay, right, right. that's very interesting. Actually, that, right. that could so be that, potentially very valuable. Right. So, like, if I had two fire now, however, I don't think you get to retreat. So Sounds like that no. was valuable. That was valuable. So we drop support, and I get two fire events. Okay. So for the second roll, now you have no support. Mm-hmm. Double objective zone. We're on the support not involved table, and seven against your. It's it's um, the same thing. Uh, you'll you have another. It's the same one. thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, so we're at plus three, but at the support not involved table. Here we go. Both lost. We both take a loss. All right. Boo. And now we'll keep moving with the rest of the. This guy's going to go here to City Aziz. And. This guy, which one, two, this guy's going to just out of your screen radius. Actually, I think they're going to go a different way. One, two, three, five, six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and these guys stay with the headquarters. And fresh, because they're in support, and that's that. So let's see if we get a second activation out. Shall we? I need a... I got a three. That's a good number. Let's see what happens. That would be yeah, a second look. activation. Let's... Fresh, so it's a break-even snafu. Eh, four is a partial. So... going to be like that. Open up on your... Um, now that we've got the... We're just going to do two engagement fires on your... Uh, we're going to do... up. Uh, you know what? We're not going to do a thing. It's pointless. We're just going to leave it at that. That, okay. that's our that's a, that's our formation because it's basically the end of the second turn yeah and, and you don't get anything for steps and it's really about can you take objectives yeah for this scenario yeah i mean to be honest you could do if you want to do a last attack you could see if you could take that key terrain hex but um what other victory is, is it just the red hexes for it's victory the red hexes yeah so um 
think this through here. I don't think that support that support um, unit might, in principle, be able to knock. What what the heck is this unit in at Beacon Point here, in Solemn? That is some. Is that just plot. some kind of static? That yeah, that's like a supply unit. Hmm. Well, let's play through it and see what happens. I've got one more activation yeah, yeah. then. Right. If so, you can blow them away, get a second activation and blow the other guys away. It, yeah. That's what it would take. It would take a second activation. So let's uh, do a regular activation. Roll snafu. So that formation is fresh, not optimal distance. So it's a plus one for the snafu roll. He gets a full activation. So we're going to take this double objective marker and drop it right here. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Uh, that said, if I don't get the double activation, then we're, we're pretty much done. Um, all right, so... Well, the full activation is important, actually, because... Yeah, it is. Um, it will let me put a suppression on this hex. And that hex is not... It counts as terrain because it's in that fort thing. Right. So, but... On the other hand, yeah, it's a four. All right, well, we're going to see what happens. I'm going to attack with this top unit here. Um, so to the combat table, we have a duel. We, it's a four versus four. You're going to get, are you a uh, uh, defensive? Uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm prepared defense. And I get support both from my headquarters and the 88s. Which I don't think matters, but... All right, so I, I think you're at an 8 total. Okay. So that's your base 4 AR, plus terrain, plus the terrain hex side, plus prepared defense, plus 1 for the support. Okay. Um, the attacker, on the other hand, has a 4, plus 1 for the double objective... We will use the artillery from the HQ to get the suppression mission. Right. Um, I don't have any armor I can go in there and beat on you with first. Um, that looks like it. So that's a 7 to an 8. So a net minus 1 on the combat roll. Yeah. That's a 9. That's a good roll. That's a that's good roll. That's an A1, uh, which is an A1. Because uh, you did have prepared defense, so we're going to step down. But you're going to get a situational, right. which means um, yeah. step yeah. loss per unit and stay, otherwise retreat. We are absolutely going to decrease steps and stay put. Okay. And I can't attack you again. Right. So I would have had to get an 11, <clears throat> which means I would have need to roll the boxcars to force right. a retreat out of that hex. And you would have retreated, I'm guessing, probably to <clears throat> be yeah, yeah, to right here, which would have put you still in the way, um, which means I, I could I think I can probably just roll into Beacon Point over that over top of that supply unit. Uh, but then you've got a Zoc on it as well. So even with the second activation. So I feel like we are essentially done. Second that, activation or no. Because I can't attack that hex again. I can't go around it because it's zocked. All the hexes I could go around it are zocked within, you know, unless I'm in move mode, which is means I can't attack. Or I can't do regular combats anyway. Right. So it sounds to me didn't seem to use my tank or artillery support. Yes, he did. He's, you suppressed me with your artillery. So in yeah, and that in that case I did, but I needed it. That support unit, I think. I think as we discussed before, I think the correct. So let's. I guess let's back up one sec. One second, and say, are are we in agreement that we are basically done with a draw? Yeah, we have. So what is the 
officially the victory point total as we look it up because nobody ain't nobody's getting no more well it's not points um what it is is you have to take hellfire pass and you have to have one of these additional three objective hexes which we do right. not have um if we only have hellfire pass um but not any of the other objective hexes then it's a draw we have a draw okay so we're at a draw Right. So what could I have done differently? Um, I think definitely I could have gone, um, as we discussed earlier, I could have gone directly north uh, to, to try and knock this frontier unit out with right. 22nd guards. Right. Real but you could, Go ahead. But honestly, I, I think you played it as best you could. I, I, you couldn't have done that on the first turn because you had those partial activations. Yes, that's true. So you didn't take you didn't take the um, the rear position basically of Hellfire Pass, you know that objective hex mm -hmm. until this turn. Yeah. Okay. So because you took it this turn, they couldn't cooperate and trying to they couldn't follow on and knock those guys out. Mm -hmm. You you know they 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 were done. You you done all your activations. So I think what what did you in was well two things the partial One, activate all the partial activations on the first turn the first turn. turn right right second thing was i saved myself by getting in a position i set up the 88s you know what i mean for the frontier group and i moved that recon into position where it could fall back fall back fall back and then defend fort Puzo because that would have won you the game mm -hmm. you know what i mean yes so so I think things didn't go well for you on the first turn, but I don't, and I also don't think there was much more you could have done. I kind of kept this a draw by the, by the hair of my chinny chin chin. You know, oh, you're down to I one mean, step if, in Fort Capuza. So, right, right, right. You know, it, you know, I, I, I barely saved my ass is the way I look at it. There are some really interesting things going on in this game system, I think. Um, I want to play more of it. And we took about two and a half, so it took about an hour a turn, I think. Right. Yeah. It's about an hour, hour say hour, hour and 15 minutes with With us fumbling around. Right. Yeah, and there's, yeah. you know, some rules looking up and stuff like that. I think, uh, it, like a lot of Dean designs, you're not super duper dependent on the tables for a lot of this stuff. Um, even the combat table, really. Um, I mean, you play this a lot, you can memorize that combat table. Yeah, yeah. I what I like about what the game does is um, I like the way it plays with command and control. And I was actually reading his designer's notes for, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it kind of the point I was making the other day about why I don't OCS much anymore. He kind of made that point. Yeah, where it was like you know in the designer's notes where it's like you know you're playing like OCS and it's all about supply and what you, when you're talking about C two it's baked in. Mm -hmm. But you don't get to explore those national differences, or you know, yeah. how, <laughs> you know how formations are set up, and I really like that about this. So you interesting, know? interesting uh, anecdote from the convention scene. You know, before all our conventions got canceled, um, is that at Winter Offensive in Maryland, Dean was there playing BCS. At Winterfest in Sandusky, Ohio, in February which is the last event I went to, and looking like it might be the last event for a while, um, which was going to be the case anyway. Uh, Curtis Bear and Chip Saltzman were there. They are the two honchos or co-honchos or honcho and assistant honcho or however it is for OCS. They were there playing BCS. They ground out on this, in fact, on Brazen Chariots, the whole the entire right. eight, nine days. Right. So, and, and we saw a lot of uh, really interesting individual uh, commentators in the content creator group um, taking up OCS re uh, BCS recently as well. Um, that's really interesting to me. And, and for that matter, Mark Herman did as well. Yeah, Mark liked it. He, yeah. he did a whole long tweet thing. Yeah, I mean, from a, you know, I don't want to talk about my design stuff. You know, that's another day, right? But right. that's kind of like like what I'm exploring and the stuff that interests me in gaming anymore is I'm tired of these don't get me wrong monster multiple maps and stuff is doesn't mm -hmm. bug me encounter density doesn't bother me 
right? Mm -hmm. What bothers me, though, is just this, let's do it and let's have this goddamn wrong where it's all about supply, but we're not exploring national differences in, you know, how firepower is applied, command and control, you know, how different countries use fire. And, you know, Dean doesn't do a whole lot with ISR here. There's a little bit, in my opinion, in terms of, like, Sitsu and Fog of War with the, but, Mm -hmm. you know, games that explore that stuff that's the type of stuff i'm interested in exploring in war gaming not like i can see all these units right right and i'm just expending supply and i'm and i'm doing some wagnerian thing whereas like 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 you and i were talking about the other day like ocs was really interesting to me and those concepts were new in like 94 95 mm-hmm. and now i'm just i want to explore other stuff you sure. know and i like and i like what this is exploring you know yeah and yeah. for those it, and for those East, East Front freaks out there, I think they're doing another, the next title's like uh, in Hungary. It? it is, Late War Hungary, yeah. uh, very, very late 44 and or early 45. And and if you read his designers, list, what I thought was cool was he did a call back to like TCS and um, the Brigade Combat series, mm-hmm. you know, written orders and exploring command and control. And that was stuff he did back then that I that that, that to, to this day, I still find really fresh. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, you know, exploring how command and control was done in the American Civil War or with TCS, you like, you know, how you're moving formations around and stuff. Brian Jarvis has a comment. Hi, Brian. Yeah, I, I agree completely that the, the recon screen saved my ass in this game completely. Yeah. You know, if I hadn't, those were the guys I had the furthest forward because I was basically trying to boogie everybody into the attack zone as quickly as I could. And I, I'd say if I didn't have those two screening units there, you would have taken Fort Capuzzo. You would have won this, no, no question, right? Yeah, I, it, I think yeah. so. I think so because so, I would have just yeah. rolled up there basically and hit it. Um, and honestly, the uh, I don't recall off the top of my head whether the extra AR uh, helped or, or extra two AR actually. Um, yeah, Gary says um, the key to the series are the engagements, and I'm inclined to agree. And I certainly didn't yeah. handle Seventh Armored as well as I could have. Um, in, in retrospect, what maybe you do is um, is try to bypass. Let me see if you can actually do that, if that makes statement makes any sense at all. Um, maybe you drive um, the support group right past through Hellfire Pass and, and up here to one of these uh, objectives up here. You could have gone around, basically, but I don't think you had enough time with two turn. Yeah, two turns is pretty tight. Because uh, nice... you could have nailed me with 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 engagements, right? Mm-hmm. But 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 if you think about it, you only had one activation with twenty two guards for the first turn. Mm-hmm. Okay, then and a partial at that. Right, and then the second turn, I got an act my first activation because remember i had the first activation of the whole turn right mm-hmm. turn two i moved those screens into place yeah you know so at that point in time you could have and, and you did your damnedest in fact to use engagements to work me up north but it was just like literally i got like what 100 italians left in fort capuzzo yeah. you know it was but it was all because of those screens man you know yeah, and and I couldn't. All the reinforcements, all the stuff I had from Herf and everybody couldn't. They got as far as they could, you, you know, to, to the combat zone. So this yeah. is really about me, me screen, like, you know. And I, you know, we I have played Hellfire Pass before in other games. You know, if we had like one more day, you mm-hmm. know, which they could easily done if they wanted to. You yeah. know, you could have seen more tank wrangling. But I, I, I think this was really intended as like that. This is the introductory scenario to the system. It's yeah. two. It's it, you know. It's 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 two. So, what's your thoughts for next, man? Might uh, as well I'd be that happy publicly. to do so. Um, as you are aware, um, th- now we're going to do the coronavirus talk for anyone still uh, still watching. Um, right. We ju- I'm I'm hearing. Uh, I, I happen to work in a building which houses a substantial proportion of the Ohio State government, so I <laughs> I get to hear about certain things that are occurring a little bit early. Um, shelter in place order will be issued today if that hasn't happened already. So nobody's leaving anywhere. Um, so my gaming, I already pre- preemptively canceled all gaming for through next week. Um, so we'll see where we are at that point. So what that means is that I am not, I have zero gaming plans for next uh, Sunday. 
So if we would like to get together next Sunday and play another scenario, it could be, a, given that we gave ourselves four hours and we used half of it, um, it could easily be a larger scenario. Um, and there's, it doesn't look like there's that many scenarios in here, but there's actually a really good scenario. Now, scenario. I'm kind of, as I'm, well, first of all, are you good at all during the, or are you? Well, no, normally, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm good in the evenings. Uh, normally, I have three gaming nights a week. Uh, I Tuesday, could Wednesday, that. Thursday, but right now none of that's happening. When so, you say evening, what do you mean? I mean, say seven p.m. and later. Let's let's talk about that part offline. That 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 might okay. be doable. Uh, but I, so so really, as I look at the scenarios, we could do like Big Boy Crusader. So that's, that's uh, look. I'm looking at the scenarios here. Uh, there's yeah. a bunch of so the uh, the whole the full campaign is. Uh, looks like about a roughly 20, uh, 21 turns. It's 21 turns. Um, so we could, I, I think I would like to see a, a smaller scenario again first. First? Um, Operation okay. Scorpion is two turns. Uh, Operation Battle Axe is 10 turns. Uh, actually, there's two different Battle Axe scenarios. There's a three turn one and a mini Crusader Battle Axe, which is 10 turns. Um, there's the Easter battle, which is five turns, and the battle for the salient, which is five turns. So my temptation then is to go for either scenario one or scenario two, um, or battle axe, um, before tackling the campaign. Let me see scenario one and scenario two. That's Easter battle and battle for the salient. Thanks, Brian, had... for, uh, for joining us. Yeah, I appreciate it. I have not left the. I went to the grocery store yesterday. I went and bought vape juice. I bought two months worth of vape juice. Uh, so I don't. I'm. I'm and coils and all that stuff. So other than and I, I scored the mother load. I found flour. So I basically am all set for the next two weeks. I'm trying to find something that's like five turns. I feel like like these two turners are a little too short. It like did we need seem like a short. As an introductory like, scenario, that's totally fine. But, cool. Um, right. I would like something a bit meatier. Maybe three turns is sufficient, but five turns sounds interesting. Like, yeah, I'm looking for like four or five. I'll settle for a three, but you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's battle axe is three turns. Mm -hmm. Scorpions two feels like too short. Like we'll be doing the same thing all over again. Um, we could do the battle for the salient that's five turns okay let's do it all right same time next sunday then yeah yeah right. i'm good next all right yeah, i'll yeah. get it scheduled i think i think i understand how youtube wants me to do that now so um I will get that scheduled and put up, and then we'll so, uh, we'll do it next week, and then then maybe yeah. we will feel uh, better about a full scenario. The big the big Magilla, big yeah. Crusader. I'd rather probably stick with with brazen chariots for now, just because getting yeah. to know the map and the terrain and the routes of attack and all that stuff, the road network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that yeah, that sounds great. Okay. All right. Um, awesome. Take care, everybody. Thank All you right. for everybody who uh, got your laughs watching us. Uh, yep. Watching us play. Fumble and stumbling and bumbling. So, so thanks everybody for joining us. I really appreciate it. Everybody have a good and safe rest of the day. Okay.